right, here we go. So this is like my fourth time re-recording this whole little clip. Y'all, this whole video honestly was just like something that was like, ah, I don't want to post because it's one thing like putting yourself out there, but like showing when you're at your most, I don't want to say weakest point. Anyways, child, I just debated heavy and hard on whether or not you want to do this video, but I felt like this could really help somebody. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could really identify and resonate with this and come along the journey again with me. Um, so anyways, and I'm not making uncon eye contact because I just feel weird talking about it. Not weird, but I'm also ashamed. You know what I'm saying? Because I let myself get this far off track. Knowing what I'm supposed to have been doing, should have been doing, just got done working out. Y'all saw what I just got done working out anyway. So according to my watch, I burned almost 675 calories. I let mine go for at least an hour post-workout because I'm still burning fat. So anyways, y'all, um, Basically, in a nutshell, I'm starting over. I hate the word fitness journey because it's, it's really, it's a lifestyle change. It's, well, it's a journey, I guess you can say, but it's like a never ending journey, right? Like it's something that really never and truly ends. Like you have to keep at it like every day, you know? Um, and so I was at my most fit point right before I met Brandon. Um, I told y'all what I think I said to y'all. And y'all know this, I'm all over the place, okay? Just roll with it. First off, I know my channel banner says wellness. And I may have done how many, like maybe one or two, three, if that wellness related content videos on my channel. That's because it's not that I've always been off. Uh, it's just, have I been consistent um, over the last two years? No, not consistent how I'm used to consistency. Like I would literally not take a day off from the gym unless I was literally like sick or, you know, it was just my actual rest day that was allocated in my training plan. But other than that, I didn't take breaks or, you know, be lazy or not want to go like how I got now, basically. So anyways, I feel like since I've, and I talked to Brandon about this before I decided to make this video and he said, I think you should do it. And it's not, I told him, don't, don't think, babe, I'm saying a jab at you or anything. It's just, cause yes, most of it, all of it is on me. Um, but what I'm trying to say y'all is since I found love, it's like I lost myself in the process. If that makes sense. When it comes to what I was like and how I lived my life prior to meeting Brandon, like literally gym was life. It still is life. It's just, it's not as much life as it is that I have now that I have love. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I don't know, maybe it was cause I was lonely and I didn't, I didn't have nobody to spend time. I got, I literally was in gym y'all morning PM. Like I was just that dedicated to it. I went to my cardio, strength training in the afternoon, you know what I'm saying? My meals, do nutrition, all that was on it. Like I make sure I have on the screen. Um, I, and I use this picture because I actually like, and I've, I've had several physiques over the years since I started competing in bodybuilding competitions and stuff. And that has a lot to do too with just my mental when it comes to fitness and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. The biggest balance after my last show in 2018 was trying to figure out a balance between training and not necessarily training for a show but still training taking care of my body eating all that kind of stuff but it wasn't like i was trying to get ripped and cut like i was you know like for a show or whatever right so that was a struggle just adjusting to that but i had an off-season coach i had a great coach actually um and i let him go like an idiot but anyways that was the last time I had a coach was 2019, actually going into 2020. When everything shut down with the virus and stuff, it just, my pocket got a little tight because granted, thank God I have a job. Thank thank God for a job. Um, but I travel a lot with my job as well. I'm a medical social worker. I do home visits. So my mileage, bit, now that we're at home, I don't get mileage, what I'm trying to say. So that's a piece of my income that was cut. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was able to allocate, you know, to make money to be able to pay a coach or whatever on the side because he wasn't cheap. But he was very much so well worth the money. And being an athlete, I understand how important it is to have a coach. It's not that I can't hold myself accountable, but it's one thing having another set of eyes to see things that I can't see. You know what I'm saying? That type thing. Um, and yes, accountability, accountability as well. Um, I really and truly enjoyed my physique. My last show, 2018, I only done two, but my last show, 2018, I really, really loved how I looked. Like, I didn't look like I was starved. I looked at my first show, um, you know, just really too dieted down, too skinny, um, too lean. Um, but anyways, 2018, I love my physique. Um, and I make sure I try to have stuff on the screen when I'm talking about this stuff so y'all see along the way what I'm talking about. I'm not just telling you stuff, that's how I used to look, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, I love how I looked. Um, and, and going into my off season when I got done with that show in August of 2018, going into it and I got got with my coach and got him for an off season coach. Um, off season meaning I wasn't training for a show, but I was still wanting to, you know, maintain a certain weight, be in a certain weight range, so that if I did want to go on stage, it wouldn't be to either die and kill myself, the cardio down and diet down to be able to get back on stage. I'll be able to just transition easily with that because I was doing off-season training, off-season nutrition, and that really kept me in line, like for real. And I really enjoyed 
And I'm looking, on, looking back on pictures, I loved how I look. Wow, I'm so nervous talking to a freaking phone. Like, can you tell I'm tense? Like, I guess because it's just like I'm putting myself out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the kind of stuff, what I'm giving y'all right now, this is what I do on my Instagram because I joined Instagram years ago. It was mainly for fitness. I shared, that's my first game in fitness, 2014. I literally, you know, shared everything, my weigh-ins, check, all that kind of stuff, right? More for accountability. And that's when I have, we call ourselves a fit fam over there. And that's what I have. Still have years later, people that I look up to, we look up to each other for motivation, you know, that kind of thing. So I figured, why not do this on my YouTube channel? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only somebody that's starting over again. Um, I'm not the only somebody that's, you know, I'm not, I don't want to say lost themselves, but in the process, you just stopped doing the things that you were doing prior to meeting someone. And that's where I am right now. I'm just trying to figure out, I told Brandon, trying to find the balance between, you know, being in a relationship, you know, because I'm with them, not all the time, but most of the time I'm with them. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get back into my groove, how it was before I met him, because I had a life before I met him. My life was just the gym, yes, but I loved that life. And, you know, my body loved that. Not only just how I look, but how I felt, y'all. Um, I just turned 33 and I have back pain. But a lot of the stuff I don't just openly talk about, of course, because it's personal. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody else needs to hear it. Somebody else needs to be on this journey with me. You know what I'm saying? If you know that this could be your sciences, if you're watching this and you like, okay, I'm tired of starting over too. Join me. Let's work out together. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get back on this journey and stay on this journey. My intention to do here, this video and this constant hearing this on my YouTube channel is to motivate, help to uplift, inspire somebody else to start over. If you started and you fell, fell off, falling off, start over again. If you haven't started, this is your sign to start. And so nutrition and all that kind of stuff plays a huge part as well. Like I showed y'all earlier, my grocery shopping, right? I will try to have, have to rewatch re all this stuff back and cut out so much fluff, I already know it, but I said I was gonna do it, but I may do it. Anyways, I have on the screen what my current, what I'm gonna be following for my current meal plan right now. And like I told y'all, this is just what I'm used to and what I know my body responded well to. This was my actual last off season um, training plan that actually worked really well, really well for me. You know, coupled of course with exercise and everything like that. So I'll try to screenshot, I have it on the screen, just so you can get an idea. I showed y'all the foods that I did purchase, but just you can see, and when it comes to meal prep, another thing about meal prep, um, I've had some people on my Instagram and I did like different polls asking what you want to see my channel. I knew the ones that were actually engaged and actually watch my videos, they re left recommendations and stuff. So when it comes to meal planning, the reason I don't do meal planning like or like what I eat in a day kind of videos is because <laughs> for one, at that time I wasn't even eating worth then. You know, y'all was eating pizza, uh, cake, cupcakes, cookies, stuff that you, I should not, I knew better to be eating, but I was eating, okay? So that's why you ain't seen the what I eat in a day and meal prep for me because I wasn't meal prepping. But no, no, I'm on the topic of uh, nutrition and meal prep and stuff. Now, when I was out in the field, when I was out seeing, me when I say, I, uh, when I say out in the field, me when I was seeing patients, um, I, of course, meal prep was, I was literally was in the car eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner in my car, you know, from the time I left home to I came back. Being that I work from home now, I don't really meal prep like that because, I mean, I'm here, I can cook when I get ready to eat my meal or whatever, right? And for me, y'all, maybe you need to find what works best for you here. What I do, I like simplicity. I don't like cooking, okay? So when I did meal prep, you know, I, like I said, I eat very basic foods because that's what I know works for me. I keep it basic. Go back to the basics. If it works, don't change it. And that's what I'm doing, right? So the foods that I eat are very simple for me to prepare. You know, I have an air fryer now. So that, oh Lord, the air fryer is just life. Thank God for it. So for example, like my meal now, I'm getting ready to eat when I get done with this whole vlogging thing um i have turkey breast that i brought bought brought turkey breast that i bought um like tur turkey breast patty um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put that pop that in the um air fryer and i think asparagus really all my greens and stuff can be fixed in the microwave too you know walmart have those um they come in like the resealable, not the resealable bag, but the bag you can put in the microwave and fix your, you know, steam it that way, right? So I can either steam my vegetables in the microwave or if I want to put them in the um, air fryer, I can do that. But anyway, my air fryer and my microwave will do all the cooking, all right? Basically, I don't use the stove for nothing, not really. Except for my morning um, breakfast, I have um, egg whites and two pieces of bread in the morning. So I have to cook the egg whites, of course. But other than that, like my other meals, like literally my air fryer is life, life. So that's how I meal prep. Um, very simple. Um, and the stuff, like I said, that I eat is not not really the typical stuff, I guess, that, you know, like an average, like, weight loss client of mine will eat, for example. You know, like, I my goal is to intake a lot more protein because I want to put on more size, I want to put on muscle mass. So for me, I, I intake a lot more um, protein. So I drink protein shakes and supplements in between meals as well, stuff like that, right? 
uh, how I track my foods is using my fitness pal. I've been using my fitness pal since I started my fitness journey in 2014, a long time. So I'm very, very, very familiar with the um, app. So if you don't have that app, I highly encourage you to download it. It's very user friendly. Um, it's really easy to use. It's, it's not, I can't explain it because I'm not looking at it right now, but it's not a hard app to get set up with. But that's what I do. I literally log um, and I do that starting out for the first week because I eat the same thing. I will be eating the same thing every day. So there's no point in me. I don't see the point in loading, um, not loading logging my food daily um because i'll be eating the same things every day unless i say i, I grab some extra like i grab an extra snack during the day i made you know of course my log that just keep track of it but other than that that's how i log my um, meals but anyways y'all i just want to be genuine and upfront with y'all about my starting over my fitness journey so to speak so i just encourage y'all you know what i'm saying if you're watching this and you feel like this is for you then chances are this is for you. Like, I highly encourage you. Let me know in the comments, y'all, if y'all are um, for this, basically, right? So what I want, what I plan to do is, um, whereas I don't really do much, I haven't been doing much wellness content, I said, okay, this would be perfect. Like, instead of doing this, how I'm used to doing it, you know, my Instagram and stuff like that, like I said, bringing it to YouTube, right? So being that this is going to go up on Wednesday, I plan for it to go up Wednesday. I want to do something like a Wellness Wednesday um, type video upload. Maybe not every Wednesday, but definitely at least two Wednesdays out of the month. So every other Wednesday, basically, um, is where I plan to come on and, you know, we can do a fitness update. Like this video is just going to be introducing what it is that I plan to do um, and where I am with this whole starting over my fitness journey. Uh, but the plan is I want to go come on here um, every two weeks and we can do, well, I'm going to show y'all my check-in, basically. I'm going to show you my check-in so we can actually be um, upfront, honest about everything, you know what I'm saying? We're on this journey together, you know what I'm saying? I want us to basically do the same thing, right? I know you probably can't show me how I'm showing you on a YouTube uh, video, but you can comment, you know, if you feel comfortable doing that, of course, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't, don't want to talk about their weight openly or, you know, leave that kind of stuff in the comments, that's fine. Go to my Instagram, but I want you to engage as well on my YouTube video um, as well, you know, just let me know that you're on a journey with me. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, my plan is to come on every two weeks and just kind of do like a fitness check-in, um, so to speak. Um, just letting you see, you know, pictures or what I look like, you know, each check-in, my weight. Um, I also do measurements um, for my check-ins and stuff like that. So that for this video, y'all saw my weight clip at the beginning, right? Yeah. So anyways, I've already um, done my measurements and stuff. I keep a log of that actually on my phone. Uh, I take pictures and all that kind of stuff before pictures. Of, pictures, y'all, are so important. Measurements are so important. Because the scale can be the devil. I don't rely on the scale. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I weigh myself. I like to see my body fat and I go off that as well. But pictures and measurements can also tell the story. Where you feel like you may have, um, or if you haven't, if you're not seeing any progress, for example, on the scale and you get all defeated and feel, oh, this ain't working, give your body time. All right. You didn't, um, you know, you, you didn't necessarily gain the weight overnight. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to take some time to get the weight off. It's not going to be a quick thing. You know what I'm saying? So people have to realize as well, it's not a quick journey. This is an actual journey. journey. It's a lifestyle journey. I know that because I've been doing this for a while. So it's like when I fall off, I'm not necessarily, I don't want to say I'm concerned, but at this point, I, I mean, the reason I'm sharing this with y'all because I am concerned because I feel like it's been so hard for me to get back to where I was. And I say that because it's just, like I said, since finding love, it's like I feel like I lost myself in the process. And that's one thing I never want to do. You know what I'm saying? Whether I have somebody or not, I still want to take care of Lisa and do what I know makes me feel good. Not only in the inside, but also on the outside. I want to look good too, sis. Okay? My birthday pictures, y'all. I couldn't even really wear that dress I wanted to wear because I felt terrible in it. I had such a pudge. I still got a pudge. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I, I knew I didn't look how I wanted to look in that dress, which is why I kept my jacket on all night. You know, whereas I owe me, honey. Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> what jacket? You know what I'm saying? So just the confidence that I used to have, I want to get that back with my body. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, just how I feel, less back pain, your knee won't be hurting, child. You got this extra weight, your knees will be hurting, your back will be hurting because you're overweight. That's just what it is. So to help to alleviate that, we need to work on ourselves and get this weight off of us. So that's the plan, sis. I hope I didn't miss it. I'm trying to think because I, I have a visual memory. y'all. I can visualize my notes in my phone and what I had. But anyways, that, that's the gist of what I want to go ahead and say for this video. I hope it's not long, but it may end up being long. Sorry what it is, but this is going to be helpful to so many people. I really and truly feel that in my spirit. I feel it in my heart. Um, and it's just my, my goal is that this just would resonate with somebody else and that you would feel inclined to join on this journey with me. You know what? If you feel so inclined that you want to join us, you ain't even got to say, you ain't got to participate every two weeks and say, okay, this is my whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just comment below. I'm in. That's it. Comment below. I'm in. I have it on the screen. I'm in. 
that's that way I know that you're on this thing with me when I'm not in it alone. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, y'all, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video on today. If you did, girl, let me know in the comments below. Once again, like I said, if you deciding to join this journey with me, y'all, comment below. Just say I'm in. All right. I would love to have you every two weeks to come back to my channel. Look for these videos. Like I said, I plan to do, and y'all know how consistent I am. I don't play no games on my YouTube channel. I've been posting very consistently for the last several months. Okay. I post every Wednesday at five o'clock every saturday at 12 o'clock that's p.m and central standard time all right so like i said comment below i mean if you in i want to see you every two weeks here checking in let me know let us know that we in this thing you know what i'm saying making progress together and even, even if we fall off that's fine what you got us for for accountability for encouragement right so because i'm not perfect i might fall off sometime but the plan is not to fall off i'm fall, falling off enough at this point i want to stay on i want to help y'all stay on encourage y'all motivate y'all to stay on as well so like the video come in like i said subscribe all right if you like what you're saying i post very consistent like i said two times a week here that's it until next wellness wednesday that's what i'm gonna call it wellness wednesday something like that wellness wednesday upload i'll see y'all next time bye